You've mocked me, you've doubted me, but no more, because today I will show you what Sly Winkle management is all about. Garbage? Are you crazy? You just dumped garbage in my house. This is not just any garbage, this is Joey DeRico's garbage. You know, Joey DeRico, owner of Ponytail Records, Mr. Hair, the man with the mane. Is he crazy? He just dumped garbage in my house. Oh, uh, Sly. What we want from Joey DeRico is a gig, not some old neck bones from last night's chicken dinner. <laughs> Look, Joey DeRico is not easy to get to, but if I can find something in his garbage, I take what I find and I use it against him. <laughs> I don't know, Sly. It sounds like blackmail to me. Oh, no, it's not blackmail. It's just a threat to make him do what we want. <laughs> That's it. I'm calling the police. Come on, Lorraine. It's tough to get gigs. Not that. I want you arrested for dumping garbage in my house. <laughs> I got a job at the animal shelter and all oh, the animals are so cute and I'm having so much fun and why am I standing in garbage? <laughs> Forget the garbage, there's a rat! Oh man, gross! I'll smash you! Don't hurt it, I'll the shelter. Wait, it's not a rat, it's a clump of hair. <laughs> peach. Just paint the ceiling peach. <laughs> Do you know what this is? It's a ponytail wig! That means Joey DeRico's ponytails are fake. Oh. Now he's got to give us an audition or the whole world will know that Mr. Hare's trademark ponytail is a scam. <laughs> Man, we got to be Chris. I'm going to give him the best blood pulsing, bone shaking guy to get up and dance drum solo he's ever heard. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, Tony's really tearing up the place. No, he's not. It's an earthquake. Everyone okay? Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna go home and see if my dad's okay. Oh my. Yeah, me too. Go. I'm gonna go see if Joey Dorito's okay. <laughs> oh, it's still here. I love this place. Hello, Marcus. Hello, Bench. Hello, world. <laughs> Tony, are you okay? Oh, it was horrible. I had this dream that the big one hit while we were playing the gig, and every time I hit the drums, part of the school crushed on one of you. Boom, Jake. Boom, Lorena. Ba boom. Uh, me? <laughs> oh, Sly, oh, Sam, oh, Mark. Oh, Tony. Okay. Maybe I am just a little edgy, but it was just so horrible. I mean, everything was shaking, and it was so loud, and in that speaker, it came down crashing and it almost killed me. Jeez, Tony, I've never seen a guy so afraid of things. Yeah, you're right, Jake. You are so right. Oh, look, a rat! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. hey. hey, Tim. When did you get a dog? Oh, he's not mine. A water pipe broke at the shelter, and he needs a temporary home. Oh. So does anybody want to take a critter for a few days? Yeah, I know. I will. Come here, everybody. Come here. Come here. Oh. Okay, so oh. who wants to stay with who? Okay. I think that the beagle wants Tony, hey, and this wait. little guy wants Mark. Oh. I think that whoa, the iguana wants to stay with Jake. <laughs> <laughs> the iguana wants Sly. Okay. <laughs> and the bulldog wants Jake. <laughs> and the little bunny wants to stay with Lorena. Sorry. I have a strict rule, no messy animals in my house. Except Sly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the rabbit tip. What about Lorena? It'll just be for a few days. I'll just hide the little fluff ball in my room. Okay. Okay. Thanks, guys. These animals had a tough time during the quake, and they just need some TLC. Oh, excuse me. Winkle Management, to book the dreams, press one. To date, Sly, press two. <laughs> to get your ponytail wig, press three. <laughs> Joey, how you doing? How about that audition? Okay. Ciao, Bella. Tonight, Sharkies. Yeah. So, how's it going with the bunny? He's a little sneak. He escaped from my room, and I found him eating one of Lorena's sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing I found him before he ate anything else. I don't believe this. Something ate my hat. <laughs> Belt 
person. <laughs> yeah, well, if I find out you brought an animal to my house, you'll be a dead person. <laughs> hey, Lorena, why is it that you hate animals so much? I don't. I love them. I just hate the mess they make. All the shedding and the licking and the jumping. <gasps> oh, <it's funny. laughs> Oh, poor Tremor, did she scare you? Tremor, that is so cute. No, it's not. It's disgusting. You can't have a dog in a restaurant. Oh, no, you're right. He's not allowed in the dining room. Tremor, go wash dishes. <laughs> hey, Joey, I'm glad you can make it. Jim's already ready to audition. Yeah, yeah. Let's get this over with. My head is cold. <laughs> okay, Tony, count us off. All right. One. 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 <laughs> Say two. Two. <laughs> He's replaceable. Forget it. You had your chance. You blew it. Hey, how's Tony? He's feeling better. <laughs> he's got a long way to go, but he's feeling better. Hey, Wicks. What are you doing? I mean, not that I expect the same answer. I'm playing it safe. That way, if the ground starts shaking, I'll be outside where nothing can follow me. You sure? What about uh, trees, power lines, flagpoles? Oh, please, Jake. I'm being safe, not paranoid. Although, I don't think that window is shutterproof. Morning, everyone. Morning. Morning. Today, I thought we'd skip our chapter six quiz. Oh, I'm so disappointed. <laughs> Didn't know it meant that much to you, Sly. Here, take it. I insist. Shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> the rest of us will talk about the earthquake. Who here was really affected? <laughs> uh, you know, the student handbook doesn't say I have to be in class. It just says I have to attend class. It's okay, Tony. A lot of people are afraid to come inside after an earthquake, sometimes for months afterwards. Better book some outdoor gigs. Now, while we can't predict when earthquakes are coming, we can, however, be prepared. Any ideas how? We can make earthquake kits. Good. Your kit should have things that you might need after an earthquake, like a transistor radio so you can hear the news reports, flashlights in case electricity goes out, Drinking water, money, extra shoes, blankets. Hey, and don't forget binoculars. Why binoculars? So I can see the board from here. <laughs> okay, now let's talk about what to do during an earthquake. The most important thing is not to panic. As soon as you realize it's an earthquake, get under a sturdy table or go stand in a doorway. Anything to shield you from the debris. Oh, you, you mean like this? Exactly. Now, if you need some more information on earthquake safety, you could contact our local Red Cross. And Tony, if you're really this upset, maybe we should talk. I could come outside. No, no need. I feel much better. Oh, I love this guy. Thanks to him, we got a second audition with Joey DeRico. Oh, that's that's well, all week he's been scaring Jake to death. Well, that's not true. Uh, well, it hasn't been a full week yet. <laughs> so last night, I sent him in Joey's window, and Joey ran out for a fear-filled photo session. Check it out. <laughs> so, uh, Joey gets the pictures after we get the audition, right? Naturally. And now the all-important question. Will Tony be joining us, or is he still... <laughs> Not fair. Miss Ross's class really helped Tony's confidence. You'll hardly recognize him. <laughs> what are you what are you doing? Being prepared. <laughs> Introducing the Wicks all-purpose earthquake kit. I have a radio, lantern, rope, light, canteen compass, and a portable hibachi. <laughs> hey you, you play the drums? <laughs> Where 
is your flashlight. Now you remember safety first. Go on, get out of here. Tony, don't you think you're overdoing it? I mean, it's important to be prepared, but how are you gonna drive? Or sleep, or... Forget that. Let's concentrate on the essentials. How are we gonna cuddle? Oh, that's easy. Let me demonstrate. Come here. Wow! I, I, I don't think this is working. Um, okay, wait, wait, I got it right here. Oh, get right there. Oh, not, oh, not. oh, good plan, Tony. Okay, okay, maybe it is a little ridiculous. But I can't help it, I'm scared to death. Every time I hear a loud noise or a truck rumble by, I think I'm gonna die, I don't know what to do. Hey, I may have an idea. Blech. I'd hate to have to be a rabbit. Why? They eat carrots, I hate carrots. They're like eating orange crayons. <laughs> What's with you, woo? <laughs> Me? Nothing. Nothing, huh? That carrot wouldn't possibly be for a rabbit, would it? <laughs> a rabbit? Oh, no. No, 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 no. It's mine. I'm on a new all-carrot diet. <laughs> I thought you hated carrots. Nope, I love them. Carrot sticks, carrot juice, carrot pie, carrot, carrot, carrot. <laughs> Eat it. What's up, Jack? I knew it! You had a rabbit here the whole time, Sam. Ugh, I ate a carrot for nothing! Out, get it out! I don't want to see another animal. Okay, okay, I'll put it in the garage. Come on, Tony, we know you're afraid, but don't worry, we're gonna help you face your fear. We're all gonna recreate the earthquake, only this time you'll take the proper precautions. Well, couldn't we do this outside? In a hot air balloon? Over Brooklyn? <laughs> Sorry, you were here when it happened. I don't know about this, guys. Maybe we should call Tony's parents and get them involved. Oh, come on. We're talking about Mr. Overreaction here. I mean, when they turn down the lights at the movies, he thinks he's going blind. <laughs> so, yeah, Tony, just drum like before, and when the fake quake hits, do exactly what Miss Ross taught us. Earthquake! They finally fixed the animal shelter. I'm really bummed we had to give all our animals back. I'm not. That lizard ate my money. <laughs> hey, hey, Tony. Man. Come on in. Uh, no thanks. It's safer right here. How can you still have Trevor? Ah, well, we bonded. He's coming with me. I think he'll like Ohio. Ohio? Ohio. In the east? You know, the place where the ground is still? Tony, what are you talking about? Sam, I just can't get past this fear of earthquakes. So I discussed it with my parents, and we decided it'd be best if I moved in with my aunt in Ohio. Why? Why are you doing Tony, this is nuts. See, your problems are inside of you. You can't run away from them. See, I thought it was clear. The ground here moves. In Ohio, it doesn't. Tony, what about us? Sam, I'm sorry. I just can't deal. Come on, Tremor. We got packing to do. Well, this is it. Tony's really leaving. He said he'd stop in to say goodbye on his way to the airport. Where's Lorena? Isn't she gonna say goodbye? She went to that horrible animal shelter. Horrible? I thought you enjoyed working there. I did, until I found out that if nobody claims the animals in a few weeks, they destroy them. No one's gonna destroy these animals while Lorena Marina Costa's around. Oh. Lorena, what's going on? No, I found out what they're gonna do, so I adopted them, mutts. <laughs> Come on, guys, kibble's on me! <laughs> hey, guys, I came to wish you good luck and say goodbye. Oh, bye, Tony. Antoine, my best friend. 
Nothing. Not even 2,000 miles can keep us apart. I'm gonna miss you, bud. You're more important than audition time. Later, Wix! <laughs> Joey, you'll be glad to know we solved the drummer problem. Meet the Taft 3000 drum machine. So let's start the show! All right, hang on. Tony, good luck, man. I understand, Tony. I saw how scared you were standing in that doorway. But I'm gonna miss you. I did get in the doorway, didn't I? The ground was shaking and I just got in the doorway like Miss Ross told us. People, hello. Yeah. Fame and fortune waiting. Call me when you land, okay? No, no, wait, 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 wait a minute. I was afraid, but I did the right thing anyway. Do you know what that means? Yeah, you'd be the bravest guy in a doorway in Ohio. <laughs> no, man, maybe I'm cool with this. Maybe I don't have to leave. I mean, I'm afraid, but you know, if there's another earthquake now, I know how to take care of myself. Yeah, yeah, you're cured, whoop de doo now, if you'll excuse us, we have an audition. No, man, I'm serious, man. I think I'm cool with this. I can drum, I can prove it. And if you can't, you blow the biggest audition ever. Forget it. Come here, guys. What? I said no. No, no, no. <laughs> All right, come on up. I decided to give him a shot. <laughs> okay, Tony, count us off. One, two, three, 